What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com. And in this video, we're gonna be answering the question, is Vulture better than DigitalOcean? The short answer to the question is that they have better options for virtual machines, but DigitalOcean has a better, I think, user experience and better options for other types of cloud service products. So I hate to give it depends answers, but it really does depend on the specific product types you're in, involved with and the features included for those types between the platforms. So it's not a question that can be answered broadly necessarily. Like uh, it's going to depend on the use case that you have and the products required for that use case. So for example, one of the things I love about DigitalOcean is their product documentation is fantastic. Uh, not only from a generic standpoint, but they also put out blog posts on how to do various things that are pretty great. And so I got to praise DigitalOcean for that. I see their stuff all the time when I'm looking for solutions to problems, even through other uh, cloud providers like Azure. Vulture has gotten a lot better with their docs. If we take a look at, say, let's see here. Let's click on, say, networking here. And you can kind of see where they've improved the uh, the flow of their docs and the answers they provide. One thing that I think Vulture do does really well, and I recently contacted their customer support, I was impressed with how quickly they responded and they were really competent. They gave me a neat answer to a problem I was having with, uh, I was trying to get desktop uh, Linux and uh, they didn't offer it and a number of other places I don't think offer that. So I had to get it from the site and just upload the ISO directly. And they basically told me how to do it. So you can't get that kind of service from a tier one provider like Oz, Azure or GCP. Um, and so that was really cool to see that Vulture offers that kind of support. So the really great thing to see from Vulture, really great thing to see from DigitalOcean, pardon me. And if we compare some of these products, like let's compare virtual machines, let's deploy a server here and then deploy a droplet here. V Vulture offers um, dedicated vCPU and shared vCPU, but then they offer, also offer bare metal servers. And they have some improvement to do in terms of documentation, like DigitalOcean does a much better job, but they have a lot more versatility and features in, from their this virtual machine standpoint. So they have like 16 different points of presence right now. Uh, that's quite a bit more than DigitalOcean. If we look at the droplets here, you can see there's several Linux operating systems. They don't offer bare metal. They just offer dedicated vCPU and shared vCPU. They also don't offer as many package types as Vulture does. And I can show you that there at the low end. It's the cheapest you can get is five bucks. The most expensive looks like hundred bucks with these features. And then you'd have to come up here to roughly 1200 to two K. So the, uh, not that I'm using those, but just to show you that there's more options over on Vulture, you can see there's several points of presence here with, uh, uh, with digital ocean. And for many people that won't matter, but it, it's a benefit, right? It does show more sophisticated infrastructure, and focus on virtual machinery from Vulture by comparison. You can see they have more um, operating systems, more points of presence. If you drop, let's see, if you go to cloud compute and you drop the CPU quality down, then you can get access to much cheaper uh, VMs. And they also have uh, higher performing VMs it goes all the way up to like 3k or something like that they also and of course there's, there's bare metal they also offer under cloud compute they all offer uh, for for shared vcpu they offer windows and di di uh, digital ocean does not offer that um, and this is a flat fee whereas on tier one providers it's they charge by mile on cpu usage so this is one of the best providers if you want to get a cost-effective windows server I think they charge extra. Yeah, they charge extra for Windows. But uh, it's, I guess it, it varies based on the actual server size. But it, the, the, the good thing is that, to my understanding, they don't charge for, 
best GPU usage. So it's, anyways, it's a big deal. The, that would make that would that feature alone makes Vulture a much more attractive virtual machine provider than DigitalOcean. Another example, though, on the other end of that would be with Spaces, which is a fancy word for object storage. Well, it's not really a fancy word, but you know what I'm saying. Vulture also offers object storage, but when we compare, they only offer one point of presence. They don't they don't articulate egress or in ingress features like DigitalOcean does free ingress uh, cost and then the, there's a cost to egress data it's, it's pretty much the exact same in terms of pricing the difference is that some of the features are better with DigitalOcean where you have more points of presence uh, full ultra only has one point of point of presence and then you can't really see what's going on until you actually provision the resources edit the 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 bucket and then or edit the object storage and then you can see that you can actually deploy buckets and you actually can upload files using the web interface which may not sound like a big deal it's kind of to be expected but it a lot of services that do object storage they force you to do an ftp connection so they don't even have proper web interface capability so this is actually a great benefit um but one of the points i'm trying to make here is that you can't really tell what's good between platforms and products until you actually provision the resources completely and compare all the granular features. And so that's something I really have to point out. With DigitalOcean, they have a CDN and Vulture doesn't even have a CDN network. Um, and so you can enable that right here from the object storage, which is pretty cool. They also have file enumeration capabilities. So, uh, well, the ability to to you know set your security or enable file listing uh, so they're they're immediately more attractive if you're trying to deploy static websites or other content like uh th this is an example where DigitalOcean does a better job but um again though we got a service like cloudways for example which is managed wordpress hosting and one of this cloud services that you can uh, choose to host your your stuff on is vulture and it's one of the most cost effective options you can pick. So you can host WordPress websites with VPS level server resources for something like 10 or 15 bucks a month or whatever. And this is one of my, the best recommendations I have for WordPress hosting. So anyways, that pretty much concludes this video. The is, is Vulture better than DigitalOcean? Yes, it's better for some of their for certain products it's going to be better like their virtual machines i think they are better they're more they have more options at least it's more versatile whereas with object storage i think DigitalOcean is a lot better and it's going to vary in other areas also like if you're going to mess with ips and you're, you're going to manage dns settings for example then you're going to need to know if the dns uh, um, system is capable of doing c name flattening and things like that so you're going to have to, you know, create an account and you're going to have to deploy the products individually fully and compare those features uh, side by side. So if you want some free credits to being able to test these accounts, check below this video. I'm going to put some links. And if you use those links, you should get some free credit with those links. You know, I know for some of them, you have to put in a little bit of money and then you get like a chunk of additional credit. So that'll allow you to take the time to deploy for products specifically for your use case and determine if they're going to be viable or not. That's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like comment and subscribe much respect. If you use my links, if not, no worries, but please let me know what you think of this video. And if you have any requests for other types of uh, videos of similar, similar type, and I'll catch you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.